Okay, hello everybody. I'm here today with Abigail Spencer Hu, who is uh, an artist here in Los Angeles. And we're going to be conducting a photo shoot in and around LACMA, which is a Los Angeles County Museum of Art, uh, the Brer Tar Pits, and also the Peterson Automotive Museum. Okay, so let's get to know Abigail a little bit more. And um, Abigail, perhaps you can tell me a little bit about your art and how you get inspired for creating a, a particular piece of art. Um, yeah, I have uh, been involved with art since I was five. Um, I have background in clothing designs and paintings. So right now I'm more focused on doing paintings because I feel it can express my feelings to, to share with the world. I feel art is more like an international language that people can connect more easy. And sometimes I feel, you know, in life, if I'm trying to tell people, you know, what I learn from life, and maybe they don't want to listen because they feel I'm trying to preach them. So I feel art is a way to express my message. And also, obviously, it's a reflection of me as a person. Well, what, what's your objectives for today? Um, I just have some a really amazing new fall collection outfits, so I wanted to share with everybody. <laughs> and obviously, I like art. That's why we choose a more artistic location, because, you know, I, I come to LACMA at least, like, twice a year. I go to art museums, like, constantly, because obviously I get inspirations from people before me <laughs> that they probably already had similar idea or even better ideas than me so um, so I think I just wanted to create a more editorial more uh, classy look for the outfit that's why we picked the location to go is the look today great okay well we'll get on with our shoots Looks like it's going to be a really, really hot day, and uh, this could be a challenge with the harsh lights and shadows. Also, just lugging our gear around, uh, trying to protect uh, these amazing outfits that Abigail's got. Uh, sun's always a, a big challenge, so I'm going to be probably using filters, changing my exposure a lot, and uh, probably having to use fill flash as we go. So uh, it should be interesting. Um, let's get going. Okay, cool. Okay, so what we're doing here is we're shooting in front of the Peterson Automotive Museum and um, Abigail has got a bag that she wants to really uh, integrate within the shots and she's got a futuristic -y sort of look going on in keeping with the very abstract look of the building and I think it works quite nicely. So at this point we've done some shooting and we've got some great images but I felt like we could introduce a bit more energy into the composition. And often an easy way to do this is with a simple jump. And here you can see me demonstrating exactly what I'm looking for from Abigail and also whereabouts I'd like it to happen. And here you can see a few leaps from Abigail. Yeah, and Abigail does a really good job of making this jump her own. And, and that includes making sure that the bag is in full view to just provide a really good editorial look. Anyway, you can judge the results for yourself. Um, I've got them coming up right at the end of this clip.
now at uh, LACMA at the famous street lights, as you can see. Uh, this is a very popular place for photography, and I'm going to shoot Abigail here in amongst all of these street lights. So, the challenge with this is to um, know what to focus on, avoid hot spots where the sun's uh, reflecting off the surfaces here, and um, just try and avoid something that everybody else tends to get. Try and capture something a little bit more. So, that's the goal. Let's see how we get on. Oh, uh, and Abigail's got some painting outfit on here. Where did you get that from? Uh, I'm trying to think what the little move, maybe like little. I think a very contemplative. Very thoughtful. Thoughtful. I just want the rim of the sun hitting you, so yeah, that's that's good, perfect, perfect. Yes. We actually don't allow for tripods to be set up on the property. Oh, okay. I didn't if you do wish to use it, it's just got to be on the sidewalk property. Oh, so okay. it's the line right after the grate, and then you're perfectly fine. Oh, that's fair enough. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. We just got told to move along, so that's what we're going to do. So we've moved uh, curbside to the uh, place where it's legal to shoot. And um, as you can see, the, the light is a real problem right now. It's very, very harsh. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to, well, what I've done is I've mounted the speed light, the 600, uh, to the camera and I'm going to use film flash and I'm going to have her with the bag to the sun so hopefully this will even out the exposure a little bit. You know, quite a challenging shot actually. So we're now getting into position and making sure that the light is coming from over Abigail's shoulder and also making sure that it's not creeping around to catch any of her face. Uh, you just saw me do a quick check of my camera settings and that's because we've just relocated. I'm shooting at a shallow depth or fairly shallow depth of f3.5 and because it's so sunny I'm using a fast shutter of uh, 1 500th of a second. And uh, you just saw me walk towards Abigail and walk back again. It looks like I'm miles away from Abigail, but it's actually, actually an illusion created by the wide angle lens on my video camera. Um, but I, I actually did have to step back a bit to get her whole body in the frame. And that's because I was using the 80 millimeter prime lens. So that is a wrap from this location and now I will leave you with the pigs from here and I very much hope you like them. Okay, that's the end of part one. Please check out part two with more amazing locations and outfits featuring Abigail. Also, check out the Q&A with Abigail. Thanks for watching and please subscribe and hit that thumbs up. Cheers.